this video, I'm going to share with you how to easily check the Amazon buy box rotation or the buy box statistics using the Keepa Chrome extension to know if you buy an item, will it actually sell? And do you have a chance of winning the buy box? Now, if you're a new seller, you might be thinking to yourself, why do I need to win the buy box? What is the buy box? How does it work? So essentially the buy box is that little buy it now button when you go to an Amazon listing. So for example, if you take a look on the screen right here, there's an item that I actually purchased for my business. This is how I print all my labels out. This is the Rolo uh, printer right here. This isn't the wireless one. I actually decided not to get the wireless one. It's 200 bucks. But if you take a look right here, you can see that this is the buy box, 199.99. You can see right here, 199.99. If you hit buy it now, it's essentially a one click purchase. Now, if you actually take a look on this listing, there's actually multiple sellers. There's Tabby PRM, there's Kino RV, there's Rolo on the listing, and then there's Rolo again um, as a merchant. So. If there's multiple sellers on a listing, how do you know who's gonna win the sale? The buy box. Now the buy box rotates, okay? And in order to win the buy box, there's a couple things that you wanna focus on doing. Number one, being a professional seller. Number two, being an FBA seller. And number three, having your item priced competitively. Now there are other factors that play a role in terms of are you gonna get the buy box? Is it going to rotate? But I really wanna dive a little bit deeper and share with you, how do you know for sure, how often is the buy box rotating amongst the various sellers? So if you take a look on any listing and if you download the Keepa Chrome extension, there's a free version and then there's a paid version for $20 a month. I have the paid version. Um, I highly recommend it. I think it's probably the number one tool all Amazon sellers should have. Once you install the Chrome extension, it's actually going to um, put a pretty much like a graph with a bunch of buttons on your actual product listing for every product. So if you scroll down right here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of information. Now, I do wanna give everybody a heads up. In a couple days, I'm actually gonna be hosting a free training all about Keepa where I dive in really deep into everything, including all the data, pricing history, buy box statistics, how to read charts, how to analyze. Like I'm gonna go insanely deep and it's 100% free. So if you are interested in attending that free training, I'll put the, the date down below. It is gonna be live so you'll be able to hang out. Really watch me go crazy into Keepa. And I'm prom I, I can tell you right now, I promise, if you really learn to master Keepa, it'll make a, a world of difference in your business. So definitely check that out. But uh, one of the things that I highly recommend doing to check buy box rotation, to see if maybe you wanna compete against another seller, maybe Amazon's on the listing and you're like, should I sell? People tell me I shouldn't sell if Amazon's on the listing, which by the way, that's not true. All because Amazon's on the listing, it doesn't mean you shouldn't sell an item. The truth is half the time, and it really depends, I don't even wanna say half the time, but sometimes Amazon will never share the buy box other times they will share. Sometimes they won't even take the buy box that much. Other times they'll dominate it. Sometimes Amazon plays nice. Other times Amazon's your biggest enemy. So what do you do? You go to a product listing and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the data button right here and you're gonna hit buy box statistics. Now this is gonna share with you the buy box rotation for new. And then if you go here for buy box used statistics right here, this will share you the buy box rotation for used products. So let's just pretend that we're selling um, a used product right now. We can click into buy box, use statistics. Let's say we got this at a thrift store for $30, right? Which is certainly possible. You can see right here that 86% of the time over the last 30 days, and then over the last 90 days, 87% of the time, WM Corp, the seller name was winning the buy box. 5% of the time it went to Amazon Warehouse, 4% of the time it went to Kino, 3% of the time it went to Pro Group, and you could change the various dates, okay? Now, I also wanna mention, if you're at a thrift store, a garage sale, you're out in the field, you can actually download the Keepa app onto your phone, and you can check some information. I would say if you're doing online arbitrage or eBay to Amazon flips like I'm doing, it's certainly a lot easier, I would say, on the desktop. But um, yeah, you go to data, you go to buy box statistics. Let's say we wanna look at the new buy box statistics to see, is it rotating? Do I have a chance of winning the buy box? And again, become a pro seller, right? $39.99 a month, um, price competitively, I'd say within a couple percentage points of the lowest offer, have good feedback, right? And if you can be an FBA seller, you're certainly win the buy box more. 
versus merchants, but merchants still can win the buy box. And it's really a per um, ASIN uh, basis, I would say. Some products, MF wins a lot, bigger items, um, maybe with products that don't have a lot of FBA sellers, so on and so forth. But take a look here for new Rolo store is actually winning the buy box 100% of the time. Now, over 180 days, Rolo's winning it 97% of the time. Now, quick tip. If you're going to sell a product and the um, actual brand is on the listing and you don't have invoices, so maybe you're doing thrift stores, garage sales, auctions, eBay to Amazon, stuff like that, you don't have those legitimate invoices, I wouldn't recommend selling on a product listing if the actual brand is on the listing. So if you take a look at the brand here, the brand is obviously Rolo. If we take a look with Seller Amp, we can see Rolo is on the listing. You can also see them down here in the buy box statistics as well. It's just, it's a higher chance of you getting an IP complaint. So to make a long story short, if you're going to be selling an item, especially if it's something that's going to cost you a good amount of money, if you're doing wholesale, online arbitrage, eBay to Amazon flips, you always want to go into Keepa, right? Download the Chrome extension, go into data, go into buy box statistics here for new or used, depending on what condition you're selling, and take a look to see what percentage of the buy box the various sellers are winning. Now you could also see right here with the check mark, these are FBA sellers. You can see the ratings, the review count, the last time they won. And this is a really great tip. Now there are other ways to be able to dive deep to see how many times or how many products a specific seller is selling, uh, to be able to take a look at the market, um, to see historical data. I'll definitely cover a lot more of that inside of our upcoming Keepa training. So check that out down below, get the link. Um, it'll be 100% free where I really dive deep and uh, we could answer questions and really break down a bunch of examples and whatnot. But hopefully this helps. Check the buy box statistics use Keepa and I promise you your items, the items you do buy will sell a lot faster and you'll make a lot less mistakes because you won't buy items that don't rotate often enough in the, uh, or often enough in terms of the buy box on Amazon. So with that being said, appreciate you all much love and thank you so much for watching. Bye.